Hey Alexa and hey Google, what are the most unsettling things that you know about us? Lucy, what's your most like creepy Alexa or Google home story if you have any? Um, I mean, I find it quite triggering every time I'm mid conversation with someone, usually I'm like gossiping <laughs> and then Alexa chimes in. I'm like, oh no, yeah. she's gone and messaged the person and now <laughs> everyone knows what I've just said. That sounds awful and yeah. pretty unsettling. Kind it is. Kind of like the list that we have for you guys today. Perfect. Okay, let's get into it. For those who don't know me, I'm Lucy. You might have seen me on top five scary videos or way back when on top 10 be on the screen. I'm here to plug my brand new channel. It's going to be in the description below. If you love movies, books, TV shows, come check it out. To start off our list today, we have your credit card number. An obvious one, of course, but did you know that between the years 2020 and 2021, instances of credit card fraud losses increased by more than 10% in just one year, as if 2020 wasn't bad enough. As of 2023, nearly half of Canadians, 43% admitted to having knowingly been victims of fraud, meaning that they know of the fraud, while some victims of this crime never do. Out of those who had been frauded, 63% were victims of credit card fraud. In 2023, in America, roughly 426,000 cases of credit card fraud were reported to the Federal Trade Commission. What does this tell us? Well, that despite what many people think, credit card fraud is actually super common and it's important to take the proper security measures to ensure that it doesn't happen to us. My suggestion, don't link your credit card to your Google Home or Alexa. Or maybe just don't get a Google Home or Alexa in the first place because honestly, after all of this, I'm feeling pretty creeped out. Next up, your voice. Of course, this is not some big revelation. We all know that Alexa and Google are quite familiar with your voice. They hear it, they respond to it, they store it in a hackable database. Some of you right now are probably thinking I'm off my rocker. Why the hell would anyone want to steal someone's voice other than Ursula and the Little Mermaid, I guess? Well, I'm not sure if you guys know this, but recently the criminals from the statistics have been using AI to scam people out of major amounts of money. If you don't understand the the correlation, listen up because it's learning time. There has been an uprising in scammers using voice cloning AI technology to con families specifically. It goes like this. The scammer gets a recording of your voice and then calls one of your family members. When your mom or dad or grandma picks up, they're gonna hear your voice on the other end telling them that you've been kidnapped. Your voice will then instruct your family member to pay a large ransom to the kidnapper in order to ensure your safe release. I have goosebumps. Now, sometimes these calls come from an unknown number, but really good hackers have been able to make it appear as though the call is coming from the phone number of whoever's voice sample they are using. It's a pretty messed up scam that generally targets the older generation, so I guess my recommendation would be one, tell your grandma, and two, figure out an identification safe word in case this ever happens to you or just do what I do and never pick up the phone. They'll leave a message. Not to state the obvious, but to totally state the obvious, next up we have your home address, which is pretty basic, but if you have a Google Home or Alexa that's been fully integrated into your living space, not only does it know where you live, but it knows what you're doing at all times. When the door opens, which door opens? When the lights turn on, which lights have turned on? When you adjust your temperature, what room you're in, what windows and blinds are open and closed, and when you are actively using the Wi-Fi. Obviously, this is pretty disturbing. As I said, stalking can become a major life-threatening issue when this kind of information is so readily available on an online database. While I know turning your apartment or house into a smart home might seem like a great idea, I recommend not doing that and instead just getting up and walking 10 feet to turn your lights off or change the temperature. Or do what I do, when I get home, I just go right to bed. Okay, for this next one, I'm going to dive a little deeper into those trippy, fully tricked out smart homes because we haven't touched on one very important thing. And that is that if you're gonna go ahead and fill your home with all kinds of wild gadgets, you might as well go ahead and add security cameras to that list, right? And then connect them to your hackable smart devices, right? Sounds like a pretty great idea, right? While I can totally understand and actually agree with reasons why a person might want to implement cameras into their home security measures, I also totally understand that it does come with a significant risk, especially when those cameras are placed inside of the home. It's really creepy to think of the idea of someone gaining access to your security footage through infiltrating one of your smart devices, giving them the ability to spy on you and your family members in real time. Next up, we've got your calendar. And what's so unsettling about that? 
stalking. If someone were to hack into your Google Home or Alexa, they could potentially gain access to your entire schedule, where you're going to be, at what time and on what days, who you are going to be there with, and what you're going to be doing. Of course, the severity of having your calendar leaked definitely does vary. It can be used for data, most likely to determine spending habits based on day-to-day -day movements. It can be used as a way to keep superficial tabs on you, or it can be used as a tool by someone who wishes to show up at your exact location for any number of reasons. Perhaps the hacker want some creepy kind of meet cue, or maybe it's a crazy ex on your trail making sure you're not meeting with anyone new. Or maybe it's a psycho killer, admiring you from afar, gathering information, slowly plotting their next steps. Either way, I guess it's still pretty creepy, so make sure you're staying safe out there. Okay, next up, we know that despite what they say, Alexa and Google Home both actively hoard information. What you might not know yet is that in early 2023, Amazon was actually charged with breaching children's privacy laws because, again, despite what Jeff Bezos says, the device had been secretly and illegally storing voice recordings and geolocations. Amazon claimed that they were originally unaware that the device had stored the unlawful information in order to better learn, recognize, and respond to a variety of vocal patterns. But even if this were true, when the issue was made known to the company, they repeatedly failed to do anything to rectify it. Because of this, in June of 2023, the company was forced to pay a 25 million US dollar civil penalty to settle the charges of breaching child privacy laws, which in my opinion is really serious. So yeah, I'd like to say I'm surprised, but honestly, you guys kind of have gathered this by now. I'm not a big truster of like these home gadgets, especially like ones that use AI, so. Okay, so this next one isn't necessarily about a Google Home or Alexa, but since you brought up lawsuits, I felt it appropriate to mention the fact that during the time Amazon's Alexa was breaching privacy laws, so was Amazon's Ring doorbell. When the doorbell was released, it came with a pretty big promise, total privacy protections. Pretty basic, right? Well, I guess not for Amazon, because in the same year, Alexa came under the scrutiny of the law. So did the security cam doorbell. Why? Well, because despite Amazon's statement claiming that access to the doorbell's footage was restricted to the user, it was actually accessible to many of Amazon's employees and contractors who had been using the footage to train algorithms without user consent. Pretty messed up. In fact, in one case, the Federal Trade Commission claimed that one of Amazon's employees had been using their access to view thousands of video recordings of female users that surveyed intimate spaces in their homes. Amazon was charged with spying and had to pay a $5.8 million fine to settle the suit, which for Amazon is a slap on the wrist if you ask me. Also, definitely not enough money. If I was spied on by Amazon, I want 100 mil. All right, so based on that last point, as much as I don't wanna take the heat off of Alexa, Amazon, and Jeffrey Bezos, I'm gonna go ahead and place it on Google for a moment because in 2023, it was revealed that Google Home smart speakers had severe security issues, leaving them incredibly vulnerable to hackers. It was cybersecurity researcher Matt Coombs who discovered the bug that could allow hackers to gain full remote control over the smart speaker through Google's cloud application program programming interface. If successful, this would give hackers the ability to add themselves to the Google Home app, giving them access to the device's microphone, allowing them to spy on the conversations of the users. It would also give the hacker the ability to control smart home switches, including lights and carburetors, which is super dangerous. It would let them open and close garage doors, make online purchases, open smart locks, and remotely unlock and start select electric cars. Coons did say that the cyber attacks would have to to be done within wireless proximity to the Google Home itself, but somehow I don't really find that comforting. So I take it everyone with one of these devices is feeling pretty secure right now. Not at all scared or worried, right? Good. Well, in that case, with these last two points, we're going to talk about some of the unsettling behavior Google Home and Alexa have been exhibiting, all while hoarding your precious audio, visual, financial, social, and geographical information. In 2018, there was an issue with Alexa, which involved the device laughing, a pretty disturbing laugh out of nowhere, unprompted and in complete silence. In fact, the occurrence became so popular that it was even reported on news stations throughout the country. One news station in particular, KCAL News, also mentioned an instance in which an Alexa unprompted began listing out local cemeteries and funeral homes. Pretty erratic behavior for a machine that knows your who, what, where, when, and how at all times. And finishing us off today, we've got just a bit more Alexa bashing. You know I had to do it, guys. Alexa, 
the CIA agent slash conspiracy theory enthusiast? Pretty weird. Starting with the CIA portion, accusations that Alexa might be a piece of CIA spyware began circulating around the internet after Reddit user T-Square43 shared a YouTube video in which a woman asked the device, Alexa. Do you work for the CIA? If your Alexa just heard that and the speaker shut down, you're not alone because in the video, the home speaker system lit up as if it was going to answer and then obviously promptly shut down. After the video became popular, many others were posted online showing the same scenario taking place in different homes with different Alexa models. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and say there is a pretty good chance that Alexa does work for the CIA, but on the flip side, in April of 2018, when a number of users asked Alexa, Alexa, what is a chemtrail? The machine responded saying, chemtrails, trails left by aircrafts are actually chemical or biological agents deliberately sprayed at high altitudes for a purpose undisclosed to the general public in clandestine programs directed by government officials. So I don't know. Alexa, do you work for the government or are you trying to overthrow it? All right, you guys, that's our video for today. We hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to head over to my channel. Link is below. Yep, check her out. You you guys and feel free to leave a comment as always we will be checking i've been your host hannah thompson i'm lucy mcphee we'll see you next time bye oh did you want to start you want oh, me to start no. i mean you're the one that's on the channel maybe you start and then i'll hop in hey alexa what's go oh, no. alexa <laughs> alexa oh i didn't even know what script we were doing i was like planning a self intro <laughs> oh okay um you what's the okay hold on I should have thought about this before, like an actual related thing to the video. I actually really like 2020. I like being by myself and no one bothering me ever. It's my dream. Prison actually might be great for me. Frauded, is that a word? It is now. And finish it.